These succulents that you see here are paid between $1 to $12. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. These are some of the succulents I bought for the last six weeks. When I say some, it's because some of them that are not here, I've already potted up. Because of my lifestyle, I'm always away prospecting somewhere. I don't really have the time to spend on looking after succulents so I need plants that can basically look after themselves and that's the reason why I got into succulents but then the beauty of succulent draws me in to keep acquiring more and more and more I have to slowly put a stop to that I have three major rules that I go by or tips that I can share with you in buying succulents. The first one, getting to know your local area. I live in Canberra, Australia. Apart from my local hardware stores and furniture stores, I also buy my plants from mainly local plant nurseries, markets and growers or succulent addicts like myself. I also bought some recently from my local grocery stores. Number two is availability. Find out what's being sold from these places and most importantly find out delivery times or supply time that's the days when they have new stocks coming in if a particular store has deliveries on Tuesdays there's no point in coming in on Thursdays because the best ones would have already been sold and what's left are the ones that chances are you will already have so if you get there first on those days you'll have first pick of the varieties available at that time because they can vary depending on the season number three Set a budget and be patient. I have a rule that I wouldn't pay more than $25 for a plant. So far, I only broke that rule once when I paid $35 for a plant, this Echeveria Crested Golden Maria, from my local grower. I disregard my budget at a time because the lady I bought it from has already given me so many other plants for free. I usually buy ones I haven't got. When I see a plant that is over my budget and if it's in a store, I don't buy it straight away. I first find out how many are available and if there's more than half a dozen, then I wouldn't buy it. I would wait till they're marked down. And if the universe doesn't want me to have it, then I'll wait for it to be available in the future. For example, this is an Echeveria Dark Veda that I bought for $10. They had only six plants at that time, and this one has three plants. So it worked out at $3.33 a plant. And that is why I decided to buy it. A few weeks later, I went to another hardware store outlet and found the same plant reduced to clear for four dollars and just like the first one I bought for ten dollars they also have or it also has three plants but the ones I bought of course that are already repotted looks much better compared to these four dollar ones but I'll give this a couple of weeks and this should be looking almost like this other one it's the same story with this pinwheel or Echeveria pinwheel. This one I paid $10. It's got a couple of plants, so you got the big one and the small one. And I've already reported it as well, so I have sort of semi looked after it. And this one I wrote pinwheel 2. Bought at the same time as the Dark Vader. And also this one was on sale for $4 a few weeks later. What do you think? Did I get a bargain? So $10, two plants, $4, one plant. 
uh, it doesn't look very well but for four dollars I've got a spare plant oh by the way actually this is actually cheaper because you know I just noticed this there's actually a couple of babies there you go so it is a bargain so one to keep and one to torture so which one should I torture first I think I'll raise this one first or let it get stronger and then I will chop this up so this beautiful Lechiveria Gavoid is number 40 that's what it's called it is beautiful look at the colors it's um I think I like this better than the Romeo see look at that it's just so I don't know it's gorgeous I love red anyway this one was six dollars I paid six dollars for this one and of course this is already a few months old so when I got it so it's sort of like that big in the center there so and that was about seven months ago now this ones I got yesterday so these are my newly acquired or my latest acquisition so there these small ones were only three dollars each and they didn't have any label but it just looks different from the other plants or actually there's only one with the lot that it's in and came home look it up on the net and it's actually an Echeveria Setosa Varare Oteroi there you go and it's a pity there's uh, no other one there's only one there and I was the first one there so I got to have first pick and that is the only plant there and this one is Graptoveria bronze Aussie GS hybrid that's what it looks like so whether it is or isn't I don't know because uh, there's no name but it looks very much like uh, the bronze Aussie this one I don't know specifically whether this is a Lenopetalum chocolate but because it's green but it's got a darker tone it's almost like a more civilized version of a black prince but this is called Eleno Petalum gorgeous plant and uh, has a feel like uh, it feels the same as Andromiscus one of the Andromiscus so this is an Echeveria agavoides victorera it's a beautiful thick big plant and it's very very resistant to mealybugs and aphids the only thing uh, that attacked it was the, actually the hailstorm we recently had some hailstorm here and that's why it got knocked about see all those damages on the tips so I got this one from my local hardware store I've had this for about three years and I paid under ten dollars for it when I first got it so it's called Victor Retta that's what the name is they the lab, they labeled it Victor Retta I think it's about eight dollars seven something or something like that for a small plant and now it has grown big and also I have taken so many babies from this one as well and again and there's another one down there and anyway I have to get rid of that maple leaf or dry maple leaf so there's another one ready to be plucked out come springtime but for now I'm just gonna leave that there and it grows really easily or propagate really quickly and and it's also about to flower so I can get more uh, leaves from that to grow this one is also called Victorera so when I bought this one it was the same actually about that size here and it was green uh, so as like this other one this one now has gone red or pink and yellow from the Sun or the cold actually has done that to that and then this one that was really all green and it didn't have a baby it only had this one and we had some dust storm um, we had birds going around attacking it so also we had hailstorm and we had all sorts of terrible weather this year and I had aphids as well so compared to this one that uh, the aphids actually doesn't bother this one 
or the aphids don't bother with this one and so very disease resistant this one this one now is not and I think it's got something to do with its variegation so this one is a variegated Victor Retta but hang on the label says Victorata with an I, so R-E-I-T-E-R. -E so I don't know if they're the same one or different one or people just mis, um, misspelled the name Mr. Rata. Anyway, sorry I'm apologizing for someone murdering your name. But anyway, so this one is a variegated form. So it, it's variegated so you can see. I'll just turn it so you can see that. That's just gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful. So you can see the variegations or the lines there. And this, I actually paid $12 for this plant uh, when it came out, uh, when I bought it. So I paid $12, but it is so worth it because look at that gorgeous. And then now I've got another one that I can harvest uh, to give to a friend of mine. So I promised her this one. But I have another friend that I promise another one to, and luckily, there's another baby coming out there. And I just hope that that one there would also be a variegated one. And the leaves, I uh, can see the leaves on the side there. Since they're there, that looks a little bit variegated. There's already a white line in the center of it. So keep my fingers crossed. And I have a beautiful variegated Victor Rada. Speaking of variegation, I love Dondo. Dondo is one of my favorite because of the shape. It's just so gorgeous and it's just so compact. And the flowers are oh, phenomenal, beautiful, beautiful flowers. They're short and orange, but really bright orange color. And this one, I bought it. I bought it for $10. It's in one of those uh, retro pot with a small uh, plant inside it. Now this has already grown. But the reason why I bought it, so I already got Dondo, but I reckon you still can't have enough Dondo. I bought it because this one has got a variegated plant growing on the top. So I'm thinking that's probably not a terminal uh, plant. And that one there is a flower. So that one is flower, so that will be terminal, but I can get some leaves off that. And there's a few more plant growing inside, but I am really interested on that one. So you can see the variegation. See, that's got really, really strong variegation. So that'll be like a half green and half white dondo. So... Purchase for $10 with a free pot, so I think that's a bargain. Now this one was a surprise. And again, when I bought this one, um, um, there's no label, there's no name. It was $6.25 or something like that, or $6.75, but it's under $7 anyway. Uh, and when I saw it, it was more of the green side like that. Except, I saw a hint of... Just going to show you my uh, sh share with you my secrets. So one of the leaf. So this one here. So that one there. See, there's that white line or a lighter colored line that goes across it. One of the leaves uh, had that, and it's probably this one is already drying up. Okay. So it wasn't a strong variegation at all. But the minute I saw that, I thought this one has a possibility of growing into a variegated plant. So I paid $6.75, let's say $7. And online, I saw them for sale for $120. So again, another bargain. This is a beautiful aloe plicatilis or fan aloe. I have always coveted you ever since I saw you. And I thought about buying you online before, but I stopped myself or I controlled myself and I did not. And then now, here you are. There's two of you. 
how beautiful are you two so anyway I hope you grow up to be big strong healthy plants one of you are going to be in my protected zone and the other one will have to go into the big wide beautiful world mingling with the frost and the heat of the sun